So how many times have you been pulling cable on site and this disaster happens? The cable falls off the end of the reel and gets tangled in the reel holder. Well, today we're gonna to look at some fantastic products, the X-Boards from Runpertec that can solve lots of the problems associated with traditional cable reels. We've been using the X-Boards here for almost a year and we believe it will make electricians' life easier. Don't we, Gordon? Certainly do. They come in two sizes. We've got the X-Board 300 here for your smaller cable reels and, as we'll see later on, the X-Board 500 that can deal with enormous reels of cables and weight capacity. Good thing about these products, they also work with the Runpa sticks, which are here. So we'll see how they can integrate with it to, again to make handling cables easier. So let's dive in and have a look at some of the great features. So let's start with everybody's favorite 2.5 twin of earth, putting the rumper stick in there that goes in the mandrel in the middle, just stops the cable reel coming off if the floor was a little bit uneven or a bit bouncy. Gives you a little bit more security and wind the plastic, which is satisfying in itself before obviously the conductor can be wound off. Yeah, so then let's just get up the speed here. Pull as much cable off as quickly as possible. Slow down, Gordon, slow down. Ah, disaster. Well, is it a disaster, actually? Because uh, can we just pick up from where we've left off there and carry on reeling? Well, we'll find out, won't we? But it looks as if that's going to jam, doesn't it? But it doesn't, does it? No, it's that, uh, the large flange at the bottom. There's no else for that cable to go. It's maintained a bigger diameter than the reel itself, so it isn't going to snag. Look at that. That's a first, isn't it? That is off with ease. So let's look at that other problem. Oh no, the end of the reel's come off. It's been damp or someone's torn it off. And it just winds off. Yeah, that's going nowhere. Even if it fell off again, we know that the process would be identical. It would wind off still. That's easy. Okay, so here's a drum of Arctic grade cable. Slightly smaller reels in the middle there. Caught you out then, so you can't use it. No, just uh, remove that mandrel from there and drop it on. And then we're good to go with this uh, smaller, smaller sized uh, middle of the cable reel. Okay, that looks easy as well. It does does really wind off really cool. Oh, oh, another problem that's gonna get caught underneath the drum. Well, let's have a look. Let's again, just carry on reeling. Or off, you'd think it would get stuck, but it doesn't. It's quite mesmerizing, isn't it? The fact that it doesn't get stuck and it continues to wind itself off. We saw there how it handled the cable with ease, but it can also manage weight really well as well. It certainly can, Gary. So the XB300 can handle an amazing 300 kilos of cable. And we've also got the XB500 that we're going to move up to now, Gary. And XB500, nice part number there. How much weight do you think that can handle? Well, if it's the XB500, I'm going to jump in with that. will be 500 kilograms. No, that's just the diameter of the cable. It can actually handle an amazing 800 kilos of cable. So we thought we'd best put that to the chance of the, some of the heaviest objects we could find around the, the workshop. We haven't got many big cables in, so we have to swap in some people. And we can see how easily it handled both the chair and two people being spun around with no effort at all. No, and it's, uh, you know, so these are made of plastic, but it's incredibly tough plastic and also has these small feet on the bottom so you don't damage the floor as well. Great features. However, there is some more features that are hidden within the XB500. Should we take a look at those? So here's the X-Board 500. We're going to try it with some tough sheath cable here. We know the amount of cable it can take and the weight of it. This is you know, an easy task for the X-Board 500 to spin that one off. However, it could fall over. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, so we can add that again, add the run per stick into the middle. So again, if the floor's a bit bouncy or you're getting a bit, uh, a bit fast pulling the cable off and things start bouncing around, then yeah, the uh, run per stick stops the cable completely moving off center. But the other advantage is we can also add another cable reel to the top. Uh, so we can double stack them and pull two off at the same time. I like that. And with the rumper stick in there, you've got the security of them not falling over. Yeah, I think you'd probably put your heavier reel at the bottom, but uh, let's, uh, let us know if you've tried this and see how you got on. So here's the secret side of the X-Board 500. Under here, it's like a Swiss army knife of possibilities. Right, okay, so you've got these two center sections that you're gonna lift up and then them outer ones, do they fold out as well? Yeah, they do, so that again increases the diameter which, uh, but we're not thinking cable this time. We're thinking possibly some other things we could use the X-Board for in the shape of our favorite product, the FlexiCon. Now, the problem with this is when you're unraveling it, it can be a pet snake and we've charmed it before, but this is gonna hold it in place to allow me to unwind it. Yeah, so again, you can lock the top section of the X-Board in place and then just, uh, yeah, find the end of your, uh, of your FlexiCon and then good to go. We can start, we can start unreeling. Okay, so that will just wind straight off now. It's never easy to unwind it anyhow, but yeah, that is, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, off it comes. 
Love that. Yeah, another problem solved. So now let's have a look again at some possibly some smaller flexi cons. We don't need the fold out wings. We're just back in with the uh, the regular section. So again, you get them though, isn't it? You'd, as soon as you cut those restraining bands, it just springs off yeah. like a coiled spring. Yeah, like a slinky going down a staircase. Yeah, it's often everywhere you don't want it to be. So if you un uncut the uh, straps on the side, and this will just wind straight off, won't yeah, it? Yeah, so securely held in place. And yeah, fantastic way to un unravel flexible conduit. I do like that a lot. That, yeah, considerably easier. And then let's think about another problem. So I'm just putting the top back on, but I'm leaving that central central expanded mandrel in place for that other problem we end up with a lot. Remember when the old uh, oh. Category 6 cable and someone's destroyed the box? Yeah, ripped the side open trying to get at the cable or it's got damp. And yeah. this is just, yeah, again, what's, yeah, solve the problem there again. Yeah, easy. And then when we're all done, it all just uh, folds away. Put the lid back on and we're ready to easily carry the export off. We believe there is no competition between the export and this traditional, yeah, <laughs> kick it over. How many times you actually had to put it back together when pulling in cables? We can't floor this. It was brilliant when we used it. It is, yeah, and all those features and incredibly lightweight as well, but yet handles an enormous amount of weight. But always at eFix, we're interested in your feedback. What's your cable reels? What's your go-to cable reels? Are you currently using the X boards and you think they're as fantastic as we do? Please leave all your comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.